Uh, me and Gina Marie want to come back with you really quick just to discuss some women empowerment. I honestly don't know a lot about it, so I'm really excited for her to be able to tell you guys because women empowerment is a huge thing in the community, the cannabis community, the entire world. <laughs> So I'm going to let her tell you what she does in the industry, and then we're just going to talk a little bit about it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I am going to share a little bit more about women empowerment, and I'm really excited to share it with you because I think that you are an empowering woman. If you look at her Instagram, she is an influencer. She has followers all over the world, and she represents a really beautiful woman that is a cannabis-friendly person and does lots of different things and promotes, you know, the the enjoyment of cannabis. She's actually just, I, I'm very, was always very impressed with what you were doing. And uh, I think that one woman recognizing another woman is huge. It's really it's, important for us to recognize as women, if you have a business, if you are someone that's, you know, raising up and trying to do something in the cannabis community that is a predominantly male industry, it continues to be. We have broken the, you know, the, the ice as women in the industry, but there is still a grass ceiling for us. Um, you know, the men are, you know, particularly the owners of these larger industries that are now becoming corporate. And oh my gosh, it's going to be more and more corporate, more and more money. One of the things about corporate America is it's predominantly white male. And that's, I, I can't relate to that. So <laughs> I mean, what do I do? do do we stay out of the industry? Do we just take yeah. jobs for men? You know, do we want to, you know, stand behind their tables and promote their products? Or do we really want to create a presence as women in the community? And making my own brand of topicals has become a very empowering piece for me to not only just make lotion or beauty serums that are absolutely amazing. Nobody's doing what I'm doing. You know, Literally nobody. I'm an artist, you know, you don't you, you don't really wake are. up like this, like you're born a creative person. <laughs> so I'm able to take my talents and put it into something that is, you know, it's it's history. Cannabis industry right now is historic. I think the opportunity is It really oh. is though. It's historic. Like this is a historic time in history. And the women of the cannabis community should definitely like stick together. Figure out a plan. Yes. And make something happen. And I've done that with SoCal. So as a lifestyle yeah. brand, we have values and we, we do events. We do lots of uh, promotion at different clubs and venues in San Diego, California. Yeah. We've been in LA. We've also been here and in Palm Springs uh, during the Oh, campaigns. yeah. I forgot I saw you went to Palm Springs. So I, I, I find women that are interested and they find me and we connect and they become very confident. They represent the brand. The brand is very strong. It represents my views. My views are very pro-woman and pro-cannabis and pro-life. Equality between all plants and people. And I, I think, so you know, much. I'm a female. I'm an expert female. I, I can't stand here or sit here and tell you that I'm an expert on men and what men should do. And if you think that that may possibly be racist <laughs> or sexist, Sexist. I'm not against any race of man or men, period. But I am a But the women should still, I think too, women have to stick together more. Yes, we need to. And we need to get beyond the the color of our skins and the gender and if we smoke or if we don't, you know, we're, we're a community of human beings. And I'm creating an opportunity for women to join me and uh, become a brand ambassador and learn what it's like to be a professional in the cannabis industry, pushing a woman's brand, woman's values. And uh, I'm really excited to work oh with Allie. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely gonna work with her. <laughs> because I reached out, I was like, like you know what, Allie, we, we can empower each other. Yes, exactly. So women definitely need to come together. It's really crazy that they don't. Especially in this day and age with political, all the political things that are going on right yeah, now. Yeah, You know, women are in an uproar with, with things that are going on around us and it, it's time we we can be in a separate space where we don't recognize the fact that it's it's not men against us it's us against each other it's us again we need to all band together as women and and support mm -hmm. each other and get around this in a way that's not going to separate us from men anymore you know, being so a feminist, feminist being a feminist is not anti-men 
No, you know, of so, course not. So don't be afraid <laughs> to embrace your femininity, to join women that are powerful, to Definitely. put yourself next to a brand that believes in empowerment for women yeah. or cannabis. You know, teach that the stigma of a planet and a person is, it, the stigma should be gone. It's, it's an equal thing. Everybody it, it really beautiful. is, um, and I love you so much for even <laughs> doing you. the women empowerment thing. I think literally every single girl needs some type of role model like that, or somebody they can look up to, whether it's the cannabis industry or not. It could be something completely different. But as long as you have like a stronger woman, a lead role to like let you follow, their footsteps, she's an amazing example. So you guys should all definitely follow her Instagram. Check out my website. I have a, a page called Team SoCal where you can kind of follow and meet the team, the women that are working Okay, and the SoCal is what we have on. <laughs> this so is the this brand. is how you spell it. <laughs> okay, what's the website though? The website is www.socalnaturalonline.com. And you can follow me, Gina Marie SoCal, on Instagram and Facebook. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody stay tuned. We'll be back with you next Friday.